Hi guys and girls, whoever's out there. Anyway, what I've got, I basically just purchased a hardtop gazebo. So, what's a hardtop gazebo, you're asking? Um, you probably already know, but anyway. So basically, it consists of a polycarb bonnet roof. Um, and it's pretty much all weather gazebo. So when it's in place, it should be there. Um, protect from the elements and all that. So anyway, the actual hardtop gazebo that we've got, um, I'll just show you now which one it is which is the Out Sunny 84C171 and as you can see here yeah so the assembly instructions which you get um, which I'm going to be doing I'm going to be constructing constructing the full uh, structure so you can see how it assembles and how easy and or not so easy it is to construct and at the end of it I'll be giving you my review what I've done before assembling anything I've done um, basically a pre-check to make sure that all the parts are here as, as it as it says um, so yeah basically I've ticked them all off obviously all the screws there's nothing worse obviously if you get to the end of constructing and obviously there's a few parts missing you don't want to be taking it all down again you want to make sure that everything is in place okay so yeah so obviously again this is the instruction manual but obviously I'll go through most of this anyway does well just let you know it does come in three boxes so obviously you've got um, the one with the full with all the polycarbonate pieces in place second box um, again comes with um, a lot of the roof struts um, and also a couple of the side pieces as well and then we've also got the third box which I've actually just took out which are the actual side side column struts um, which are uh, basically which where most of the weight is in this box solid steel struts here and I, I would say these are quality they are solid they are they're not aluminium solid steel and also protected coated as well tip for you just before going any further um basically they do provide most of these screws well all, all the screws are allen key uh, fittings um, and to make it a little bit quicker and um, easier Rather than actually, what I'm going to do, rather than actually using the Allen key, I'm going to actually be using um, a cordless drill with a Allen key fitting in that. Uh, you'll see as I go along anyway. So, okay guys, these are basically, we're going to start putting these feet on the actual side struts. Yeah, so just basically a little square plate. Obviously it gives it a base for it to sit on. Okay, I'll show you how they go into place. Put that in there. So you see this just simply slides into the bottom of the strut into where the guide holes are okay and as I was saying before they do provide allen key screws but what I do I basically put an allen key fitting on the end of a cordless drill um, again it's a good it's a good thing to actually set your torque settings so it's not over screwing to put too much power on that screw and causing it to thread so basically there we go Put that in. Like so, and then there's one on the other side as well. Yep, so we put that in, and then again the same process. Put it into place. There we go. You also provide little cover caps to cover all your screws so they don't look unsightly when it's all constructed. So what you do obviously put them on. Bit of pressure on it and they should pop into place if not you might be best using a little ammo which i'll be using if i can find it here we go and then it's just a little tap there you go there you go look how lovely that looks nice and neat okay so we have the four struts four columns should we say standing posts now i'll attach the sides
Okay, so that's the full structure to the, the base. So we're going to start anchoring on the little um, side parts that need to go on here now. And then it'll be the roof after that. Okay, I'm just going to square the base as well. So make sure before putting the roof up or anything like that, that this is totally square. <laughs> So now I'm going to put the struts in, in place, which gives it its strength. That's on all corners. Okay, we'll do that now. So okay, we've done the um, supporting struts in each corner. It's okay, simply they're going again, basically screwing each end. Straight forward. Okay, so we've pretty much got all the base on and everything. So I'll just show you now what we've done. So we've put the rails on for the curtains. They're in place. Again, very easy to do. Also, we've put these little brackets on there ready for the, for the roof struts. And I think that's what we're moving on to next. Okay. So, okay, we're gonna do start to do the roof construction now. So we have to need the, basically this four the four struts that support the main the main body of the roof which are here so what we've got to do we've just got to put these little anchors on the end and when they're when they're on them struts they're going to sit don't you see that up here and anchor it to it basically so let's do it yeah so at the end you've got the two fire power holes And then this bracket is going to sit on this second hole in. See, so like so. We'll do that on our four struts right so this is the center plate on the internal yeah so these struts are going to sit on each one like this on each corner okay so i'll just do that now base cap on top of it which is just a hook screw which pulls it down what I've done I've blobbed a little bit of silicone on the top of the struts just to hold it a bit firmer because it didn't feel that secure to me um, but now we're ready to put the, um, the panels in place we're not far off the sun's coming out always a good one okay let's begin it indicates which way to go so this is outside facing obviously it's to do with the UV UV light just a bit of fire left. And then these should just slide into place. Mold it. Thank you. 
So okay, we've done the first half of putting in the polycarbs. A little tip is see these screws, the, the screws, these screws here. Leave them loose so you can jiggle it about, Joe, because it might be slightly out of square for the, the angled pieces. So if you leave them loose, you can, they're actually, the struts will actually move and push it all into 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 place where it should be. Then once you do them, obviously tighten them all up so then they're secure. So obviously with these now, because they're like half, like two halves of the panel, once you put the polycarb in, you put these basically, these half struts in between each polycarb. That's what I'm going to put on now. So I'll just demonstrate that as it goes on. So, yeah, so basically you've got two sets, one for the left and then one for the right. You can tell that by the angles. So we'll put this in and these actually slide. So if you just put a corner in first and then slide along, it should slide into place. Okay. So I'll just give you a demonstration with these ones because a little bit trickier than ones. It's definitely a two person, two person job this. Let's try and get a corner in first. Have you got that on there already? Yeah. Like that, so get a small part in first. Like I say, it's a little bit tricky, a little bit awkward. Once you get one corner, you can start feeding in the rest of Right, okay, so we've got all the polycarb in place, all the roofs on. We've just got to tie them in now um, with these on the edges here. And that's what I'm going to do next. So we've got these basically, these strips that go over, and then we put screws in each middle and corner, and that'll fasten it and secure it all in place. Okay, so we've put all the struts into place and everything like that and all the end pieces to the polycarb so that it stops it falling falling out. Okay. Okay, yeah, and as you can see, it gives it straighter lines as well now, where before they were drooping slightly. The piece that goes to the legs acts as more support, I suppose decorative as well. Um, basically, you just screw a ball into the top here, which has got a screw underneath, which you can see on there. And then also as well, you just bolt the foot to the bottom as well, a plate, so you can screw that to any floor or like concrete or decking. Okay, and then this, I just attach straight to here. Right, so obviously I've put the screws into here. I can't get my drill into there, so it's gonna have to be by hand, I'm afraid. since we actually uh, completed the actual gazebo uh, so this is going to be my review now 
going over basically the construction, how difficult it was. Okay, so here we go. So with the gazebo and the construction side of it, of the materials, definitely using of high quality materials, definitely of a solid build and very strong. In regard to the build, I'd say probably a medium skills needed to construct it. I wouldn't say it was very difficult. Probably best with a two person team doing this. A few of the tricky parts were probably just like the placing in of the polycarbs. Uh, can be a bit trickier. It wasn't too bad though. Once you get used to once you've done one, it's a lot easier obviously following on from there. And also the corner spars, where the actual spars connect to the actual legs, side legs. What you've got to do when you put the little anchor point on is obviously when you're putting spar to it, you've got to move the spar off to the side so you can get the end screw in, otherwise you won't be able to get it. So that's a little bit tricky, but it's not too bad again. Yeah, just, just working it out. For the pros for the actual uh, gazebo, uh, basically it has a UV polycarbonate roof, obviously to protect you from the sun's rays while you're sat in there, which is definitely a bonus. Um, also as well, it comes with the two double curtains set at the wall, so you've got them for privacy. And then the other set obviously protects you from any insects trying to get in there. Also, all frame comes powder coated. So this is again, uh, will add to the life of the actual gazebo. Some of the cons, um, obviously, with the gazebo, which I found was a bit annoying really, was the top plate which anchors on top of the actual gazebo, which we, you, basically the plate that sits there in the centre part. Obviously, you can see from the photograph now that was showing. Um, this obviously, when you try to screw that in with one of the actual, with the actual hook, it doesn't tighten. It, it gets to a certain point and it's still loose, it rattles. Um, it's not very good. So what I've done, I've basically um, siliconed, siliconed that down on the ends of the actual spars. So I put a couple of blobs on there, then pushed the actual plate down onto it, and then screwed it, and now it's solid, not going anywhere. For the pros, again, great that you get a centre hook in the centre of the actual roof, so you can hang your actual light off there. And then, again, for the corners, um, you get the actual the hooks as well for each of the corners, so again, you can string your lights along. Um, again, as you can see on the pictures there, really good. A very beautiful addition to any garden, will protect you from most weather elements. I would, I would imagine probably at windy days it's not going to be the best, but obviously from rain, sleet, snow, sun. So guys, if you can um, basically leave your reviews, leave your likes and also subscribe to the channel, it would be much appreciated. Okay guys, take it easy and see you later.